What's going on guys? So in today's video, I wanna show you how to use the newest feature in Fonica Pro version 10.6, the object tracker, for color correction and color grading. If you haven't seen my last video on this new object tracking feature, make sure you check it out right here because if you haven't already installed the new Final Cut version 10.6, you are missing out on a ton of awesome features. So here we are in Final Cut Pro version 10.6. I have some sample footage here in my timeline, and if you would like to test out some sample footage of your own, check out pexels.com. It's free, royalty-free uh, videos that you can practice with. I always use a lot of their footage to just practice color grading and become a better video editor. So here are some sample clips. Let's start off with this boat. What I wanna do with the shot is I want to actually highlight the boat and make everything else in the clip muted. I want the boat to be the center of attention. And it actually is in this clip, but I just wanna make it pop a little bit more and actually make the scene a little bit more dramatic. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select the clip. I'm gonna to go to my color correction right here, and I'm going to add a color board. So I'm just gonna add a color board right there. And then I'm gonna to go to this little option right here, which will allow me to add a shape or color mask. I'm gonna add a shape mask. I want the mask to go around the subject and this will make sense further down the road. So I'm gonna select shape mask and immediately we are going to see the tracker pop up, either the tracker or the shape of the mask. So this is really important because we have two different options here. We can adjust the shape of the actual mask. And remember, there is this little button right here which links the shape to the tracker and the tracker to the shape. So that means that if I change the shape of the mask, it's actually gonna change the surface area of the tracker. But we can turn this feature off and unlink the shape from the tracker so that way we can adjust the shape any way we want and we can have the tracker at a different shape as well. So it depends on the preference and the footage that you're actually shooting. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna adjust the shape. I'm gonna turn it just a little bit, just so it fits right around the boat. Just like that. And this right here is the feathering. I like the feathering to be pretty wide, so that way we have a clean runoff when it comes down to the color grading. And you'll see that in just a moment. Now I'm gonna go to the tracker and I'm gonna adjust the tracker as well, just so it has a good enough surface area to follow and track the boat. Remember, you can change the edges and you can change the rotation as well. So let's give that a shot and let's click on analyze. And you're gonna see how it tracks the boat. As you can see, it looks like it's struggling a little bit. So what this tells me is that we need to make the surface area smaller so that way it can track the boat better. So I'm gonna click on stop and I'm just gonna hit command Z to undo the track. Now I'm gonna minimize the surface area of the tracker so that way it's tighter up on the boat. Let's see if that helps. I'm gonna click on analyze one more time and let's see if it does a better job. You'll notice the tracker change colors from green to red. Red means that it's a bad track, green means that it's a good track. And as I can see right now, it's still struggling with the track. So I'm going to actually hit Command Z one more time and I am going to make the surface area even smaller and let's see if that helps the track. Sometimes it is a trial and error. Don't forget AI is still limited in its intelligence. A human is still smarter than AI in my opinion. So you just have to play around with the tracker and see what it really wants to get a good solid track. All right, it looks like a smaller surface area is what the tracker needed because now it's tracking the boat just fine. It might jump every now and again, but we'll see if this is gonna really affect the color grading. All right, now that the boat has been tracked, we can go to our color board here. And what I really wanna focus on is the exposure. I want the sea to look more dark and I want the boat itself to look brighter. So if we go under shape mask or the mask option right here, you'll notice inside and outside. Do we want the color grade to affect the inside of the mask or the outside of the mask? 
I'm actually gonna click on outside and I'm gonna turn down the shadows and I'm gonna turn down the midtones as well. Look how much better that looks. But if you notice, we have a little bit of, you know, highlighted areas around the boat and we can adjust this simply by going to our shape mask and making it smaller. You can actually adjust the area and we can also adjust the feathering. We can make it tighter. All right, that looks much better. So the surrounding sea looks a lot darker and the boat pops up a lot better. Great, now let's go on to another clip of a person. Now for this one, I'm gonna track his face, all right? Very simple, all we're gonna do is go to our color correction here. I'm gonna go to hue saturation curves, all right? And we're gonna add a shape mask. Again, I'm gonna go over his face, try to get the same shape of his face. Let's check the tracker and let's see how it tracks. All right, not bad. And don't forget this thing tracks in 3D space. So that's why you can see the circle or the tracker warp a little bit. Cool, now let's see what we can do with the actual hue. How will it affect his skin color? Let's see. We can make him appear ill or like the Hulk if we want. We can do so many different things. Uh, let me actually go back here and we can actually select the actual skin color. And that's how we're gonna actually really get an accurate, you know, hue adjustment there. See what you can do with color grading or color correction. I can make this guy look like a Smurf if I wanted to. <laughs> it's really funny. I mean, the Hulk, the, a Smurf, and because I just tracked his face and I only have the shape mask around his face, it's only gonna affect what's in that mask. So let's play back the clip and see how well the track follows his face. It does a really good job. Even though we saw it bounce around a little bit, it still stayed locked onto his face. But yeah, that's basically the gist of it, guys. You can use a bunch of different tracks for your videos. You can use it for effects, you can use it for color grades, but this is just a simple rundown of how you can use Object Tracker with your color grading. And don't forget, we'll dive more in depth in future videos. We'll actually use my footage that I've shot myself. But I think if you focus on the beginning of this video, and the last clip that we talked about of how we changed that person's skin tone to like green and blue, those are gonna allow you to do some really cool effects in your own videos. So let me know in the comment section below what more you wanna see in Final Cut Pro, especially with the object tracker. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe with those notifications turned on and I will see you in another one. Peace.